properties and characteristics of propane. The safe dispensing of propane involves knowing its properties and characteristics and being aware of safety procedures. A Material Safety Data Sheet, or MSDS, is available from propane suppliers or distributors and must be available and accessible to all employees at the workplace. The MSDS provides important information on propane, including physical properties, health effects, first aid, safety precautions, and personal protective equipment. Propane is either a liquid or a gas, depending on the amount of pressure it is stored under. To keep propane as a liquid above its normal boiling point, it must be stored and transported in pressure-tight containers. Liquid propane stored in containers at ambient temperatures will boil off and become a vapor that occupies empty space in the container. This vapor is what is used in customer appliances and equipment. Like water, liquid propane will expand when heated. However, liquid propane will increase in volume nearly 17 times greater than water. To allow for this expansion, Propane containers are typically filled to only 80% of their capacity. If liquid propane is released into the air, the lack of pressure quickly causes it to vaporize and expand to 270 times its original volume. Therefore, liquid propane leaks can be more hazardous than vapor leaks. Propane is non-toxic, but its vapor is still dangerous to inhale. Since propane vapor is one and a half times heavier than air, propane released in a confined space may settle in low-lying areas. However, if there is sufficient air movement, especially outdoors, the vapor will quickly dissipate in the air. When released into the atmosphere, liquid propane has a refrigerating effect that makes everything it touches extremely cold. This means if it comes in contact with your skin, it can cause third-degree or deep-freeze burns. For this reason, gloves or other personal protective equipment should always be worn when filling containers. Your employer may require other safety equipment depending on your specific responsibilities, so be sure to check with your supervisor. Every time propane is released, there is a potential for hazard. Three ingredients are needed to start and sustain combustion. Propane, oxygen, and an ignition source. All three ingredients must be present for combustion to occur, and the ignition source must provide enough heat to the propane-oxygen mixture to raise the temperature of propane to its ignition point. In order to minimize possible ignition sources that could lead to combustion, customers should be restricted from the immediate area around the liquid propane transfer areas. Detecting propane. Propane has a strong unpleasant smell like rotten eggs, a skunk spray, or a dead animal. Propane manufacturers deliberately add this odor so employees and customers can easily detect a potentially hazardous propane leak. Some people may have difficulty smelling propane due to several factors. Decreased sense of smell with aging medical conditions or the effects of medication, alcohol, tobacco, or drugs can diminish one's ability to smell propane. On rare occasions, propane can lose its odor. This can be caused by the presence of air, water, or rust in the cylinder or container. Since there is a possibility of odor loss or problems with your sense of smell, you should respond immediately to even a faint odor of propane. If for any reason you cannot recognize the smell of propane, notify your supervisor immediately. Both you and your customer's safety could depend on your ability to smell propane in the event of a leak. What you should know before dispensing propane. Good housekeeping practices. Good housekeeping is an important part of safety everywhere. Wet, slippery, and oily floors and tools left lying around can cause injury. Poor housekeeping can also hide defects in electrical wiring, piping, and equipment. Good housekeeping practices at a dispensing location should include keeping the dispensing area clear except for objects necessary for operations, 
reporting product and oil leaks immediately. Storing cylinders properly. Keeping driveways and fire hydrants clear of anything that could limit fire truck access. Checking fire extinguishers to make sure they are fully charged and accessible. Static electricity. All employees should be aware of the potential danger of unwanted static electricity at the dispensing location. In the right conditions, static discharge or spark may cause the ignition of some fuels, including gasoline and propane. In order to reduce the risk of ignition from static discharge, first identify where static discharge control areas are and where static electricity may be coming from. This is typically any area where propane vapor may be present. Static Discharge Prevention Quick Tips If you are working in or near a static discharge control area, there are a few simple measures you can take to limit your chances of producing a static spark. Wear static safe footwear or temporary foot grounders. Wear cotton and cotton blends. Never put on or remove garments inside a static discharge control area. Remove all plastics and other synthetic materials from the area. Make sure all your equipment is properly grounded. Limit access to the area to only those people necessary to conduct normal business activities. For more information on controlling static electricity in your facility, visit PropaneSafety.com Fire Extinguishers It is a code requirement that at least one fire extinguisher be easily accessible at the filling site. Each extinguisher should be at least an 18-pound dry chemical model with a BC rating. In workplaces where employees are expected to know how to use fire extinguishers, OSHA requires employees to be trained on fire extinguisher use and operation upon initial hiring and annually thereafter. It is important to note that fire extinguishers are not intended to put out propane fires and can only cover a limited area when used. They are effective, however, for small fires, such as those involving combustible materials, and can be helpful in creating an escape route for personnel. A monthly visual inspection of all fire extinguishers is required. This includes checking the extinguisher to be sure it is fully charged and has a tag showing the date of its last annual inspection. If the extinguisher is due for inspection, low on charge, damaged, or missing an inspection tag, stop filling operations and notify your supervisor immediately. Uncontrolled Propane Leaks and Fires Any uncontrolled release of propane or fire can be extremely dangerous. If your facility is equipped with an emergency shutdown device, make sure you are aware of its location. In the event of a propane emergency, you should always place personal and customer safety first. Follow these steps. Shut down the dispenser. If there is an emergency shutdown device, activate it. Evacuate the area immediately. Everyone in the building or area affected by the emergency should evacuate immediately to a safe distance from a spill or leak. Do not re-enter the area. Call for help. After you are at a safe distance from the affected area, call 911 or your local fire department. When help arrives. Emergency responders, including firefighters, hazmat crews, and emergency medical technicians, are the only personnel qualified to provide leadership in emergencies involving propane. After a fire, do not operate a dispenser that has been exposed to fire until it has been thoroughly inspected and repaired by a qualified technician approved by your propane supplier. Your company may have specific instructions for you to follow in both routine and emergency situations, so you should always consult your supervisor for more information.